Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, Mr. Gorski here. Um, some of you are really going to like today, and some maybe not. I don't know. Um, let's get started. Not sure if I'm tired or just bored. I've hit that point where I've been taking naps in the afternoon around like 4.30, 5 o'clock, and I don't know if I'm tired or if I'm just bored. Okay, getting into our celebrating every day, April 8th, um, National All is Ours Day. Not quite sure what that is. I do know this one, National Empanada Day. So empanadas, they're kind of, they're, they're, um, they're from Spain originally, I believe, but um, really they're, they're big in Mexico and Central America. Um, they're kind of stuffed like, almost like ravioli, but it's got that um, wonderful like uh, flavors of that part of the world. And then it's also National Zoo Lovers Day. There you go. Too bad we can't go to the zoos. Um, National Cherish an Antique Day. So do you have any antiques at home? Cherish them. National Chinese Almond Cookie Day. I love those cookies. They're really good. National Former Prisoner of War Recognition Day. So being a POW or a prisoner of war is not an easy thing. And um, the Vietnam War was, was, was rife with them. There are lots of POWs. Um, during the Vietnam War, so recognizing them. National Name Yourself Day. I don't know what that's about. Um, my name is still Mr. Gorski. Um, National Unicorn Day. There you go, all you unicorns out there. National Winston Churchill Day. Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister of England. Um, in the news right now, the Prime Minister of England, Boris Johnson, in the hospital with coronavirus. So um, there's a connection between then and now. And Winston Churchill took... England through World War II. Um, he was a great wartime prime minister for their country. It's also National Alcohol Screening Day, a day where um, you can take a survey and see whether you are, have a problem with alcohol. And so um, a lot of those addictive things, it's good for people to you know, think about how much they're, they're using of, of, of the substances. When we get into our work today, First, we have other extra distance learning stuff. You can go back and do any of these flip grids, especially this TikTok video one. We really want get, to get videos of kids TikToking for Mrs. Um, Oath out. Just, you know, hold your phone like, you know, sideways, landscape, um, horizontal, so that um, it fills up the whole screen. I don't know what she's doing or I don't know if she started that video but get on her case about it I want to see all of you dancing and then um today national or living history so um essentially you're going to pretend like you're an old person and tell your grandkids or the neighbor kids um about oh when I was in sixth grade so that should be kind of fun you can tell them tell tell your grandkids or neighborhood kids when you're you know 90 years old about the coronavirus. Um, it, was, it was crazy. We were TikToking and throwing memes back and forth. Yeah, it was lots of fun. Um, when we get into our work today, um, obviously you can always conference with me if you have any questions. I'm open there in, during the office hours, 9 to 11, and then from 1 to 2.30. Um, I saw Evie today, so that was fun. Um, so thank you for showing up, Evie. I also saw, hold on, I saw Aubrey yesterday. I'm seeing a lot of Evie, Evie and Aubrey, so I'm glad to see them more, but if you want to come talk to me, I'll be here. Um, when we get into our work for today, I told you, some of you would like this, some of you would not like this. There's only two things in here. Um, it's the Daily Science video that you're watching right now, and there's also the Congress Explorers Student Distance Learning Survey. We're going to give you a survey and kind of see how your experience has been so far in the first uh, three weeks. And that's it. I'm giving you guys kind of a catch up and retake day. So um, you should check your quiz score for Monday and Tuesday. That's definitely important. Uh, check your missing signs, missing assignments and work on them if you have some missing ones. Um, and if you want to retake your quiz eight, um, you're going to hop on to Schoology as always. It's in that uh, retake folder. Um, but the quizzes link is also there in our um, in our distance learning assignments folder or, or page. Um, however, if you want to retake your test, and then you can see the survey that's there. If you want to retake your test, 
uh, you have to get an 80% or 70%, I'm sorry, 70% or higher on the quizzes. And you cannot have any more than one missing assignment from our topic. So we had, I believe it was six assignments. Um, we had the five assignments from uh, the Engage, Explore, Explain, Elaborate, the Review, as well as the Study Guide. Um, if you have any more of those, you have to complete them before you can retake uh, your quiz eight. So there you go. Easy peasy for work today. Some of you are going to be like, woohoo. Some of you are like, oh gosh, I got to go back and do those. Um, but yeah, get those things done. And obviously your quiz, if you haven't taken your quiz, which will now be missing work, if you haven't taken your quiz, um, that would be something to do as well. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to email me or come hop on conferences. And I look forward to seeing you all. Okay, bye-bye and good luck.